One of the things that I want to point out to you before we go over to Photoshop is what we're going to use to create our custom buttons is I want you to take a look at the key colors that you can use for a button highlight. Let's actually go back and double click on menu one and let's just click and hold down and just draw a button. So notice the color red for the highlight and let's go get that property inspector. And let me show you something. If we actually look at our mapping type for our button, if we click on chroma for the selection, you'll notice that there are four different types of keys that you can do. You have the luma key for black and white, and you have red and blue. So if we want to do like a custom highlight inside of DVD Studio Pro for a button that we make in Photoshop, we need to make sure that the elements that we make inside of Photoshop are black, red, blue, or white. And this shade of red and blue, we actually need to make sure that we match exactly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's hold down the Apple key and we're going to tab over to Photoshop. All right, so let's go to File, New. And what we want to do is actually choose from our preset. We're going to click and hold down. And since we're working on a standard definition DVD that's four by three, we're going to choose NTSC DV 720 by 480 with guides. The only thing that we want to change out of the preset is the background contents. Instead of it being white, we actually want it to be transparent. Notice that it also chooses the correct pixel aspect ratio for NTSC video. Let's go ahead and click OK. All right, so now we have our template. Notice that we have the action safe and the title safe guides. OK, great. So now let's just make something very simple in the beginning so that I can show you how the overlay highlights work for your custom items. We're actually going to go ahead and go with black first. Let's just click on the color swatch to make sure that all of the values for RGB are zero. And they are. Let's click OK. Now, I'm just going to type text, and we'll just make this a custom button for now. So I'm just going to type text. All right, great. So there's our layer, and it's text. So let's just go ahead and save this. We're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to call this button one. And let's go ahead and put this in our folder that we've been working on for our DVD so that we can keep all of our files together and organized so that it's easy for us to back up our project. We're going to go ahead and save that. Let's click OK. All right, great. Now I'm going to hold down the Apple key and let's tab back over to DVD Studio Pro. And what I'm actually going to do is just create a new menu for training purposes. Let's double click on that. We've got menu three. Let's just put our still picture in the background for now. Set background. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and import the button that we made inside of Photoshop. See where it says button one. Let's click on import. Okay, we now have this asset in our library. Let's click and hold down and we're going to drag over the menu and this time we're actually going to choose set overlay. Choose set overlay. All right, great. There it is. Now what we want to do is actually click on the menu Okay, and now we have our property inspector up. Notice where it says overlay file, and there it is, button1.psd, and then the overlay layer. Well, that's the only layer that we have, so of course it's just going to show us that layer, and it's called text. So now what we need to do is come over here and draw a button, and if we draw the button like so, we can find the custom button that we made. See the highlight we have going there? This is a much cleaner way to key a highlight color onto a custom button or text. Okay, right now we're in grayscale mode. If we click on chroma, let's go to normal. So let's say we want our normal state to be, see our key is black, so we're going we're gonna to key white onto that button. So there we go. Notice we can adjust the opacity. So that could be for the normal state. If we go to select state, okay, let's maybe make that yellow. And then for the activated, let's make it red. Okay, see that how clean the key is? for all those different states that's on the text. Now, if we want to reposition this button, we actually have to go back to our Photoshop file. I'll show you how Photoshop integrates with DVD Studio Pro. If we hold down Apple and press the tab key. Let's go back to Photoshop. And if we just click on the layer, and then we'll just reposition our text. Let's say we want to move it down like so. We'll press Apple S to save it. If we hold down Apple and press tab. Let's go back over to DVD Studio Pro and notice how it updated and it moved down, and let's just move our little button highlight back over top. All right, so you can see how easy Photoshop integrates 
with DVD Studio Pro. Let's hold down Apple and let's tab back over to Photoshop. And now let's make like a custom button. And there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. Right now I'm just going to get the brush tool selection. Let's choose a flower, for example. All right, great. Okay, now I've got my brush and I've got my flower. And what we're going to need to do is create a new layer. There we go. And let's just click here with the brush tool. So you can see there's a flower. We can make that a button. Let's actually change our key color. Let's click here on the color swatch. And let's say we want to choose that color blue. So we can punch in the value zero for red, zero for green, and we want to type in 204 for that exact shade of blue. All right, now let's make another flower. All right, so there's that blue. All right, let's do the same thing for the red. Let's click on that. Zero for green and blue and 204 inside the red. That's the exact shade of red. And we'll just do that to make our red button. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is actually save two versions of this file. Let's just go ahead and save it with layers. What we need to do is actually merge these all down so that they're on the same layer. We'll select the top layer. Let's click on the little triangle and let's choose Merge Visible. There we go, they're all merged down, and then we'll just call this Layer Buttons. Okay, great. So we'll save this as a different Photoshop file so that we can get back to the other one that has layers. So we'll just call this one Button Flat. Okay, now let's Apple Tab back over to DVD Studio Pro, and you guessed it, we're gonna have to re-import the new one. Let's go Import. Let's import button flat. Notice there's our custom stuff. We'll choose import. And now we're just going to click and hold down on this and we're going to drag and drop it on the menu. We're going to choose set overlay. And now what we want to do is let's go back and get our inspector. Click on general and let's go to overlay. And actually we want to choose our overlay flat. There's our layer buttons. And you can see that they're coming through. So there's the one button that we made. Notice when I highlight that, it turns red. And then here's our other key colors that we can work with. Let's just go draw. We're going to have to kind of find them. They're hidden in here. See that? There's the other flower that we made. And we can change that color. Remember that one was blue. Or was it red? It was actually red. Yeah, see it was red. So notice the key color. So you can have different ones be different colors. And then we also had a button that we had hidden up here. Let's draw. There it is. I believe that one was blue. So maybe we'll make that one orange. Yeah, there we go. So you can see how you can have all these different custom highlight colors for your custom buttons. Okay, that concludes this quick tutorial on how to make custom buttons and highlights with Photoshop and DVD Studio Pro.